Hi, I'm Laura Nickerson, giving you the buzz on local news and events. Well, today we're at De Anza Park in Calabasas, and we're here because the city of Calabasas has upgraded its online registration program, all in the interest of making life easier for you. So we're going to talk with Marty Hall, who works right here. He's the facilities director. He's going to explain it to you, and I'm going to fill you in on the buzz. So Marty, tell us all about this super cool new online registration. We just purchased a brand new class registration program called ActiveNet. ActiveNet is available right now at the City of Calabasas website at www.cityofcalabasas.com. Look on the right side of the page and you'll see our new Spring Summer Recreation Guide. Click on that and that's where you go to find out about all our classes. So it's going to be so much easier. Now, do you create an account online? How does that work and when can you sign up for classes? You can create an account right now. Uh, classes actually begin for registration on Monday, March 16th. But right now we need you to go on, create your account, and if you have issues with creating your account, there's going to be a help section right on the home page that says how to create an account. Go click on that and that will walk you through how to create your account. Great, so there's no excuses not to go and register for some really cool classes right here at the city of Calabasas. Are you ready to try a little luck of the Irish? Irish. Yeah, I've had all year to work on that accent and clearly I haven't learned a thing. But you can do a little bit better honoring St. Patrick's Day by heading over to the Agora Hills Calabasas Community Center for their big celebration. It's on Saturday, March 14th from 11 a.m. to 3 p.m. at the Agora Hills Calabasas Community Center and the party is going to be incredible. Face painting, rock climbing, inflatable rides, photo shoots, and the use of the center all day. And you don't even need to find a pot of gold to pay for it because it's free. Visit ahccc.org for details. It's going to be a lucky day. I can feel it. Some might even say it'd be lucky and charmed. Are you a mom looking to return to work? Or maybe you're a mom-to-be that's trying to figure out your options after the baby's born. Well, all these choices can make it a little hard to find your balance. So the good thing is the Mom Fair is coming to Agora Hills and they're going to give you a little guidance. The Mom Fair is coming to the play destination in Agora Hills on March 12th from 6 to 9 p.m. Panelists will be there discussing career transitions for moms and the challenge of returning to work, plus team recruiters from their work from home marketplace and a ton more. You must pre-register to attend, so make sure you visit themomfair.com for details. It's a great resource that'll also give you the chance to learn about some work from home options. Imagine a world without getting on the 101 freeway every day. It's beautiful. And in local news, the Calabasas Creek cleanup happened last weekend and it was a huge success. The community came out and got dirty while cleaning up the creek under the A.E. Wright footbridge. A big thank you to everyone who came out and participated. Need a job or a better job? Well, there's a job fair in San Fernando Valley that is going to help you turn some things around. It's being held this Tuesday, March 10th from 9 a.m. to 12.30 p.m. at the Hilton Hotel in Woodland Hills. Job opportunities include sales reps, retail managers, insurance sales, mortgage brokers, HR, and much more. It's free to job seekers besides the $8 for parking. And you can visit HireLive.com for info. Don't forget to dress for success, bring about 10 to 15 resumes, and don't worry, we won't tell your current boss that you're going. the beautiful trails here at De Anza Park and there's a ton of them but if you want to head to a trail to the stars you might want to check out the Los Virgenes Open Space Preserve this weekend because they're having a trails to the stars party. In fact all you have to do is meet up for this free event on Friday the 13th at 7 30 p.m. at the Victory Boulevard Trailhead and join along with this beautiful guided walk taking a look at the stars in the sky. Hey you might even see some TV stars there too because you know it's Calabasas so you never know. So Marty, ActiveNet is really cool because you can sign up so quickly and easily, but does it have any other features we should know about? Uh, yes, the communication factor. So we were able to communicate with the public on any class or program they're in. Uh, if there's any changes to it or cancellations, uh, the public will get an immediate email and a text message in regards to that program. Now that applies for sports teams as well, right? It does. Uh, our youth sports leagues now will be able to be registered online and they, we will be able to notify each person via email or a text in regards to what team 
their son or daughter is on. As a sports mom myself, I give you a big woohoo on that one. That's great. Make sure you check it out. Well, now that you know about our new online system, make sure that you check it out on the city's website. Also, our new recreation brochures have been released. They're coming out this Thursday, March 12th. They'll be delivered to your homes and at all the facilities so you can get the scoop on everything the city has to offer you. Hey, thanks for joining us today. I'm Laura Nickerson. I'll see you next week with more of The Buzz.